I am Marianne Duquette Quozo. I am a artist, a mother, a three-time cancer survivor, and a dreamer. Art is definitely a form of expression, and art is something that I, um, I've met a lot of people who are um, not necessarily artists who have gone through cancer, who are not artists but have explored and expressed themselves through some form of art, and they cannot believe how cathartic that art can be. This is another one I like. Uh, the background is of a, uh, it's called Caran d'Ache. It's a um, type of crayon that is watercolor. And I did this actually when I was breastfeeding my son. Um, I couldn't get to paint brushes and I took his uh, baby wipes and I started using it and made these watercolor images. So I did this when he was um, breastfeeding, which is very interesting having this now be my journey without breasts. Okay, that was... <laughs> you getting this? <laughs> Just don't say what we're <laughs> Being a mother, it's different in the sense of um, you want to be there forever for your child, obviously. Um, and you want to show strength in your, you know, battle. And my son, he often says that this is my mission. The reason I think this is my mom's mission for what she's doing is that she's very resilient in what she's doing and that she's turning this whole situation around into something that she can use. It's like an opportunity that she's using. And this opportunity is allowing her to express herself more. And expressing herself is showing to others. I feel like her conveying her story to other people allows them to see what she's gone through and that they can get through it too. I lean towards my art during my battles with cancer um, as an answer to just not being alone. It was kind of something I went to into my studio and it was, um, I didn't have people to talk to um, about it. I was very young. I didn't know anybody else who had cancer. And I went into my room, my studio, and I just um, drew very heavy artwork, very large charcoals that I immediately would roll up and throw under my the couch and not to be seen, and not to be seen by anybody. It was meant to me, for me, to get that anger out in a way that I could. I was at um, Sloan Kettering for a little over a week, one time and another time, two weeks. And my family would bring stuff to me because they knew exactly what I'd be wanting and they knew that I'd want to be drawing and creating, and I could. And I did a bunch of art pieces, and it was wonderful because then even Song Kettering was having an art show, and I was able to print my work, and I had friends come in and bring me frames, and I was actually able to submit work while I was in the hospital at an art show at Song Kettering. It was really, it was spectacular. Since having breast cancer, it wasn't just so much um, cancer anymore, believe it or not. I had reconstruction that failed, and then I ended up having, I had a double mastectomy and reconstruction where I had implants, and the implants failed after five infections. I'm gonna go to my best friend's house, and Mia is my best friend, um, and she's also, she is an art therapist. She's lovingly and professionally and beautifully taking pictures of me throughout my breast cancer. Um, she has taken pictures of me when I was just about to get rid of having a double mastectomy and she took these beautiful photos of me right before I lost them. Throughout my journey of uh, breast cancer, several of my cancers, um, my scars are my journey, my map, and often I have done a lot of photographs of painting my body and then showing how I am stitched up, and I say how I'm piece, piece, whole. I draw the stitches, I exaggerate them, and 
I often want to show myself, stitching myself. And then I have a string with a heart, and it's in my artwork as well, and it's my forever present hope. And um, doing these images that I do on my, my actual drawings, I've interpreted it and put it on my body, and vice versa. She is the subject for the art right now. So she is, she painted on herself, so she's her own canvas, and she has become the subject for my art. She, I want her to feel beautiful, because she is beautiful. And I think, because she becomes an art piece, that that, in turn, will hopefully empower her and make her feel beautiful after she sees the photographs complete. Through all my stages, um, when I had my breasts, when I had one breast, and now without them, uh, it's just a continuation of something that I'm growing. And each time I get these pictures from her, these beautiful images, I've learned from them, I've grown from them, and I appreciate them. I often say that I am beautiful and beautiful as far as being this is the package and that this is the new me and I'm thankful. Through social media I met a bunch of women going through the same thing I'm going through and I became, started drawing them and enjoying their journeys and my journeys were similar and I just started drawing one or two or three or four and it just kept going and I did it very whimsical and um, I'd send it to them. and. You know, they just were delighted that they got to see how I saw them. And it just gave joy. And it's been continuing that. And I've been doing that a lot with a lot of my artwork. And they've inspired me. I've inspired them. I feel like the future has a lot of great opportunities for me. And I'm looking forward to those opportunities and I have a focus now and I feel really uh, proud and privileged to have had this journey and I think um, my sharing this is going to do something that's really powerful.